Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, it's nearly all lathe work. I do some screw cutting in the lathe. I make a new uh, lead screw in a nut. Follow me viewers lathe cross sides. I'm sure you'll find that interesting. Once again, I'm home by myself. Deb's at work. So it's time to do the, the draw for the little hand vise from last week. I put my arm in here. Right, there's a one. There's quite a few names coming this week. I'm getting a, a steady flow that, that constantly coming in. The name I've got here is Ian Dyson. Right, Ian, all you've got to do is send me an email with your address and I'll get that posted off to you anywhere in the world. Completely free of charge, as the world saying goes. I'm going to do another draw this week. This time it's for a, a pair of inside and outside calipers. More than right ones, nice ones. I got them off my friend Bob. He's got a, he bought himself a lot of, lot of tool and a lot of gear and these were spare. Once again, thanks very much, Bob. I'll get a close-up shot of them. As you can see, they're in good condition. They are more than right. Some people think these are obsolete now because you've got vernier calipers and digital calipers. They're still used quite a lot. I still use mine quite a lot. And with practice, they can be a very, very accurate tool. And you can measure a bore size with that and then put a mic on the outside. And it's amazing how accurate you can be. Anyway, a nice little, nice little set. As always, if you want a chance of winning them, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. Your name goes in the bucket. If your name's pulled out, I'll post it off anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. It's just a little way of me saying thanks very much for all the help and support I've had. And I'm constantly getting little packages with odds and ends in just to go into the giveaway. Anyway, it's well worth sending your email in. Get your name in the bucket. You know I know you might win. I mean, if you win and you're doing wanted, give it to somebody else. That's the way it works. I mean, I've got... I think I've got two sets of these that I use, and I've got a set that are historic ones that are too good to use. It's point is putting some on the draw. I mean, I might as well let somebody else have them, the same as Bob did with me. It seems amazing that a year ago I was actually in California uh, with Debs at the YouTubers Bosch. I didn't get across there this year. Debs got a new kitchen instead. But hopefully, if I can sell one or two t shirts, I'll get back for next year. Anyway, I hope all the lads that were there had a really good time. I know when I was there, I was really well looked after. I've got a small lead screw and nut here of a really good lathe. It was sent in to us by one of my viewers to ask us how to make another one for him. He can't get one anyway, it's completely obsolete. You can see it's really badly worn. It's certainly passed its sell by date. There's a lot of wear in the centre of the thread. The nuts had all the normal things, don't know what to try and repair it. It's been filled with solar at some time. It's been squashed in a vase. It's had some it's had a really miserable existence. Anyway, the first thing to do is measure the the thread. It's, it's an acme type thread. But we need to know how many threads of the inch it is, it's left hand as well. Not that, that makes any difference, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. So the first thing to do is, I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer, we'll get my thread gauges and see if we can find out what pitch it is. It looks like 10 TPI, do that like 8 or 10. We'll pick on a, probably the best part of the thread which is that bit there, I hope you can see this. That's a 10 TPI gauge, you can see it's actually lining up very nicely. This is an 11 which doesn't line up there's a 9 which is even worse so I think we'll agree that that is actually 10 threads of the inch left hand thread next we need another diameter it's about to be half inch because it's, it's imperial I'm getting a reading of four, four nine hundred. So it's just under a half inch. 
I've got some silver steel half in silver steel I'll be able to make that out of that's no problem uh, I haven't got a bit of bronze big enough for the nut um, so what I have got I've got some aluminium bronze round bar which is roughly the right size I think I'll cut a piece of that off put the threads in there and then cut this in silver solder it on it'll save us having to replicate the, the base of the nut I don't really want to screw cut that in there because it's a, it's all got to screw cut such a small damper that coarse thread so what I've done I've bought a I bought a half inch by ten left hand tap they're not expensive they buy online a Chinese one it's only it's only going to be cut in bronze so it should do the job uh, so I'll use that tap put some threads in there and it's easier to screw cut the external screw cut on there to fit into a hole you've already got right we'll cut a piece off the right length I'm going to use a collet truck because it's, there's a few reasons really it's very accurate and it means I can get some good video shots I haven't got a big truck in the way here it's good to get the camera in just clean the end off, measure it a bit, I think it's 40 mil long and part it off I keep saying this, the laser have been around for a few days you will take a car, just run it slow, get the oil on the bearings just takes a second or two better This machine's a lot like brass, but it's not brass, it's a lot harder than brass, a lot tougher than brass. It would be ideal for this feed nut. Just use a DRO to measure the, the 40 mil. Forty mil there. Check it again from the end of there. Yep, forty mil. a new tip in there. I've done a lot of work that tip. Great, I've got a nice new tip in there. I'm just, it's just starting off to I never see so near as me. Drill that out of 10 mil. We need to find out what the actual bore size is for the, the half inch thread we're cutting. The core of the top 10.94. Four. I think if I put an 11 mil or possibly a 716 drill through there, the top should go in and cut a full thread. Going with 716, so she's just over 11 mil.
quite a few spring loaded tailstock centers for doing this with. I've one or two I've made, I've had sent into us. But I'm just going to use a, a solid center and feed it in by hand just so I get a, a better feel for it. Unfortunately, it's going to be the adjustable spanner job again, if I mean. It's your left hand thread, so I'm going to come towards myself. It's really taking a severe cut this. I'll try a little bit of WD 40 type lubricant on it. Try some proper cutting oil on it. I'm not taking a bit on a fork to turn it in there. I'm making some horrendous noises. I think I'll take it out just to clean the clean the chips out. It's a nice looking thread in there. I like it. In these Chinese taps for what they what they cost are perfectly acceptable for jobs like this. If you are trying to screw cut some ridiculously hard material. for playing bronze like this and once you feel the chips bind up like that it's time to take it out and give it a, a clean out Keep the center in all the time just to make sure the top runs in nice and straight. That's it all the way through. That's quite a nice result, nice deep sharp thread.